Okay, so I've got a cramp. Good to know. Is that gonna stop me from filming this video? Actually, yes, hold on. This is your reminder to drink water. We're ready. Hi, my name is Megan Batoon. I don't even say my name right. <laughs> my name is Megan Batoon. And here's the thing. I feel like I change up my style three times a year. But no matter what happens, I always circulate with two styles. I moved to LA being very bold in the worst way. And then as the years progress, I hone in on my style, which feels a little bit more simple and streamlined and tailored. But now I feel like I'm a little boring. So now we have to go backwards. It's not really going backwards. It is going full circle. I am trying to be bolder with my wardrobe. I feel like we take ourselves so seriously sometimes down to what we wear. I learned that if I like what I'm wearing, I feel better and I carry myself in a different way when I go out into the world. Remember doing that? Going out into the world? Those are nice times. One of my favorite things to do, aside from escape rooms and eat Italian food, is to thrift shop. And in this time in our lives right now, we cannot do that in person. However, you can shop online. Oh, another one of my favorite pastimes. You can shop online and you can thrift shop at the same time because you can thrift shop online on ThreadUp. We got there. I've talked about ThreadUp before, but they are the world's largest online thrift store and they've got a bunch of my favorite brands from Free People to Anthropology to J. Crew to Madewell. I think I've seen stuff go up to 90% off the estimated reasonable price, which is basically free. But there's so many parts that I love about it. One, thrift shopping in general is super fun because you are hunting for that special piece because there's only one of a kind. And it feels like a little serotonin jump when you find something that you like and that fits. That's another thing with thrift shopping. The stuff that you would find in a store may or may not fit and then when you bring it home, huh, I feel like I'm discovering an illusion. You know when you go into a store and you try something on, it looks good and you buy it and then try it on at home and it fits completely differently? We gotta figure this out. Who is lying to us now? <laughs> Someone's always lying to us. But who doesn't lie to us is thrift shop clothes because they've been worn and washed. So what you're getting is actually what you will have forever. That's what's at face value. Now I'm like, how do we get relationships to be like that? I think after every relationship, it should be mandatory to have a performance review and an honest evaluation on both parties. Wouldn't it be fun to date me? Where is my phone? Where is my phone? Every day that goes on, I lose my mind a little more. <gasps> hey Google, can you call my phone? You got it, calling now. Where's my phone? Hello? Hello? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is a new this level of quarantine. quarantine. See you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. What's happening? Here's also another thing that I love about ThreadUp is the fact that once you log in, you're on a shopping spree. My battery is about to die. Do not judge me. My battery is a reflection of how I feel inside as well. You can search from your couch or bed, whatever you're looking for. And for me, I don't really know what I'm looking for until I find it. It's about to be fall. I type in fall. I'm very into plaid right now. That seems fall-esque. So this is the coolest part. You can filter by size, color, brand, price, and find whatever you're looking for or figure out what you're looking for when you find it, which is usually how I shop on ThreadUp. I actually ordered all of these on a layover to arrive at my house when I got back from the project that I'm shooting right now. My one tip for shopping on ThreadUp is to have enough time. Oh my God, this plaid. I have problems focusing. Have enough time to shop because ThreadUp adds thousands of new items per day. So there's always something new to discover, but that will take more time to search for what you're looking for. Also, all the stuff that they add is triple checked three times. So it's really like the thing that you're giving a second life is really living its first life because it's essentially new. Speaking of lives, I was told that I had 14 past lives by a psychic one time. I'm gonna write a note. I wanna do past life regression. This video. <laughs> Before we get into any more tangents of my mind, ThreadUp is offering my viewers a special discount of 30% off their first order. And that's on top of the already discounted price. I will put the link in the description box below and use my promo code Megan B. The more I say it, the more I dissociate with the fact that my ex-boyfriend used to call me Megan B exclusively. That is the promo code, so put it in when you're checking out and you'll get stuff for cheaper. Quarantine, what are you doing to me? Let's style some bold outfits for fall. For outfit number one, we are starting with these 
really cool black corduroys. I don't think you can see the texture. This literally looks like a black hole. The only reason why I can see it is because there's so much cat hair on it. When you adopt a cat from the shelter, they should give you the cat and also a lint roller. It's part of the anatomy of owning pets. These corduroys are from Gap. The estimated retail price is $70. I got them for $9. One seventh of the price. I know fractions. <laughs> back it up, back it up, back it up. Oh, what is this? I need a vacuum. Let's start simple with trying to bold up our outfit. This button up is from J. Crew. Well, button down. I guess it depends on which way you're buttoning it. You choose your own preposition. The estimated retail price of this one is $88. I got it for $20.99. I'm gonna unbutton the top layer, have it hang out, tucking in this other side, maybe even one button down because we're bold. But it is fall, so we need to be covered up enough, let's add a jacket. Wait, I'm not even fully dressed and I already love this. The fact that these are corduroys elevates the entire thing. I love also that this is not the type of flannel that you see all the time. It's still very neutral and still being fall. I'm gonna add this oatmeal coat on top of it. It's like a little oversized. So this is still very approachable. Not that I'm trying to be unapproachable, but I wanna like push myself a little bit further. To enhance this entire thing, I'm gonna add boots that are show -stoppy. Since our outfit is nude and black, I'm gonna use these two-tone booties. Now do we look like we know fashion? I actually can't see myself, but I think the answer is yes. It doesn't matter if it looks good or bad, it's the fact that you're getting out of your comfort zone and you're having fun with it. This, I'm having fun. Even when I'm sitting, I'm having fun. Having a blast, how about you? I feel good, I feel like if I went to the grocery store, I may get hit on. So that's a good little litmus test. Outfit number two. Okay, this next thing I was super excited to find because I love boots a whole lot. I think we know this by now. But the thing about boots like these is that they cut right at the knee. I've been cheerleading and dancing my entire life, so every time I try a pair of these on, I'm literally one CrossFit class away from the zipper bursting. However, these I love. These are Franco Sarto. I look like I'm casting a spell. The estimated retail price on these are $119. I got them for $38.99, and I wanna build the next outfit around these. I'm gonna add this because it's got some tan tones in it. As I approach, I have to crouch. I was taught as a young child that you can't mix brown and black, and that was a fashion faux pas. I don't think that's the case anymore because I'm gonna do it. And if it is a faux pas, Sue me. Don't, I have a mortgage to pay. So you could wear it like this and be Ariana Grande. I'm gonna button one and then I'm gonna cross over this bottom piece and push over that one. So that when you cinch it with a belt, it has a more tailored look without even tailoring it. I'm bringing in another brown tone, but this is a snakeskin brown belt. It's another pattern as well. So I am doing a lot with this outfit. I'm tying in the brown shoes with a brown belt, but there are black tones in this. So I'm going to add a black coat to pull it all together because it is fall and yes, my legs are exposed, but I live in LA, so every day is fall really. Wow, I would look at me and go, she's confident. Is that all that it is, is to look confident just be a little bit bolder with your wardrobe if you want. Oh my God, does this have pockets? I have to tell everyone I know. Next outfit. I love dad work pants. It's classic, it's sexy for some reason. So I found these on ThreadUp. These are Banana Republic wool pants. They estimated retail for 80 bucks. I got them for $14.99. I do not have the confidence for this yet, which I also think looks bad, but I am gonna try and mix patterns with a striped jumper. This sweater's from Madewell. The estimated retail price is $98. I got it for $52.99. I've actually never mixed patterns before. Floor. So you're seeing a piece of my history and my personal growth. Are we doing it? Are we being wild? This is me being wild in quarantine. I'm gonna add some really crisp white sneakers, which is a big style tip when you don't know what to wear. I have two pairs of these because one I just wear whenever, and then I have one that I wear for outfits when I need a crisp white sneaker. All right, so how do we feel about it yet? Honestly, from this vantage point, I don't feel bad. Am I figuring out fashion? Is it just if you can mix patterns and walk outside, you have fashion? I'm gonna add another tan tone to pull this 
fully together. A quick French tuck. Shout out to Anne France for teaching me everything I know. This is my barometer for putting together an outfit. I would go, would Tan France wear it? W-T-F-W-I. Doesn't quite roll off the tongue like W-W-J-D, but you know, we can still make bracelets. I think it works. I mean, like, I truly don't know, but I'm trying here. I love this sweater because it's warm and oversized, so when I tuck it into something that's a little bit more tailored, it has a balance. I think this is what I've learned from this entire video, is it doesn't matter if it's fashion, or not. If you're having fun and if you feel better in it, that is fashion. So, turns out all three of my fall outfits are fashion. I'm gonna do one more. No, I won't. No, <laughs> Will I? I'm gonna give one quick, quick tip too. If you wanna make something bold, but you're too scared to mix patterns like this, you could also take this vibe and go this way with it. Hang on, hang on, are you hanging? Oh, hang on! If being bold isn't your thing, and you don't want to mix patterns, you could also fold something up with a lip. This polka dot sweater is also from J. Crew. It's estimated retail is $98. I got it for $28.99 and still wearing it with these little shoes. This is more of a Parisian look, but one thing I took from Parisian ladies is always add a red lip. Not the best application footage. French tuck my life into the grave. And now you're ready. And it's still bold, but classy. Actually, it's not bold, but the lips are. So that's three bold outfits and a bonus for if you're not ready to be bold yet. To recap, if we've learned anything from this video, it is, first of all, don't believe everything you see on the internet because this looks really nice. I just made my bed so that it would look fine in the background of this, but I have stuff literally everywhere. So that's one main takeaway. Second main takeaway, fashion should feel good. Okay, I'm not even gonna check to see what the background looks like and that's my personal growth. Checks immediately. What else have we learned? Starting with one main focal piece and then adding from that. And three, don't be afraid to mix patterns because I've seen crazy stuff happen, but some people be walking out on the street wearing the most insane things, but it works because they believe in it. So that's another life thing. Yeah, believe in it. Oh, and fourth, the thing that I didn't do because everything is packed for my trip is jewelry. A fourth way to add bold anything to your outfit is just to add jewelry. Am I Taylor Swift? All of a sudden, instead of shaking it off, I'm sweating it off. This is like so far. The link is in the description box. Click it, use my promo code Megan B. You'll get an extra 30% off your first order and that's on top of, again, the already discounted prices. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something or feel inspired to get older. And I think we should end the video with how we started, with cramps, with a reminder to drink water. What's in this water?